Hello guys, yeah, welcome back. In this video, we are going to briefly cover the media query concepts and take a deep look into the desktop first design approach to achieve a responsive website using media query. On this image here, you can see that the arrow begins from the larger screen, which is a monitor. And you can see that the way the website looks on the monitor is quite bigger than how it looks on the laptop. And how it looks on the laptop is quite different from how it looks on an iPad. And the way it looks on an iPad is definitely different from how it looks on mobile because they all have different screen sizes. And with the desktop fold design, this approach means that we write for the larger screen first and then we proceed to the large screen and to the medium screen and then to the smaller screen. So it is basically writing styles for the larger screen first and then proceed to any other smaller screens that follows. So let's get into coding. So the first thing we need to do is to open up our CSS playground or if you don't have a CSS playground folder, you can create a new folder and follow along. So just open your CSS playground in a VS code. If you are on Mac, when you right click, you can go to quick actions and then open in VS code or you can drag and drop the folder into the VS code. And if you're on Windows, you are going to see open with option and then you can open with VS code. So once your VS code has opened, the first thing we need to do is to create a desktop first CSS. And then we also create a desktop first HTML file. So with this now, what we can do is to bring out our boilerplate and then link our desktop for CSS with our desktop first HTML. And we can achieve this using the link tag and specify CSS. And then we can clear this out and specify the name of our CSS, which is desktop first. So with this now, uh, we should be able to open our page using the live server and when you click on go live uh, your page should open like this so what i want to do next is to uh, basically have my code and uh, my screen side by side so by default we are not seeing anything on the page and the page is just having a white color and what i want you to have in mind is that we are going to be designing for big screen first and then we are going to uh, proceed to like smaller screens so to get started with let's bring up our inspect page so uh, right click on anywhere on your page and then click on inspect and click on this uh, device icon that is here so once you click on it we are going to have a responsive developer tool like this and let me uh, make this bigger for you guys so i can have this over here so that we can have more real estate here um so the first screen we are going to be designing for which is going to be the largest so it depends on uh, what you want to build and it depends on the team you are working on or the website you want to create so you can select uh, the largest screen that you want to support basically there's no fixed largest screen uh, you can start supporting the largest screen from a certain number uh, but what we are going to be making use of in this tutorial is going to be uh, 1400 and uh, you can update this to 1400 so the width of the screen that we want to target now is 1400 so if you come to our desktop first uh, css now so what we want to do is we want to specify uh, the css rules for uh, extra large devices so anything up to 1400 is extra large so what we can now do is we can specify the media query rule so media query and then we can specify the max width like this so the max width that we want to specify is 1400px and inside of this now we can now specify all our css rule for this particular page so this is extra large let me leave a comment this is extra large devices so we have example of large desktops and are less than 1400px so this is only going to apply to devices that are less than 1400 so the maximum that this is going to apply is 1400 and what that means is like if you come here and target the body tag so the body tag is basically this tag and then we give it a background color of blue from here so you can see like this is blue and what happens if 
we increase this to 1401 because the max width we are targeting is 1400 so what happens if we are viewing it from a screen that is 1401 so if we increase this by one you can see that we don't have that blue color again because the screen size is actually beyond 1400 so that's basically what is happening here so what dexel first means is that outside of the media query we have to specify our default style so we can come here and do body and we can give this a background color of let's say black so any screen that is above 1400 px is going to be black by default and if we go uh, down to uh, a smaller screen which is 1400 remember that this is a screen uh, let's put this to be uh, screens above 1400 px so we can see starting from 1401 like this and let me expand this a little bit for you guys uh, let me expand this like this so that you'll be able to see properly so um, any screen starting from 1401 are going to be having black so if i go to 1000 401 you can see that this is black and if i go to 1000 and zero you can see that this is blue so that is the power of uh, media query and we are currently making use of the desktop first approach so desktop first approach is like we are specifying the default styles outside of the media query and then we are using media query to specify what happens to smaller screens so that's basically what is happening here so the next thing we can do now is to specify another smaller screen so since we've already targeted extra large so the next thing after extra large is large so we can target large devices large devices and large devices are basically desktops that are not as large as the extra large of course and they are less than 1200 px so that's basically the screen size that we are targeting for this tutorial uh, like i said you can you know do your own research and make use of your own screen size so uh, what we can do here is to just come here and do media max width of 1200 px and we can come here and do body and give it a background color of yellow so what this means is like when we are viewing this on a screen of 1200 or less that means that this screen is going to uh, be showing us yellow color so if i change this from 1400 to 1200 you can see that this is going to show us yellow and if we do not specify yellow here uh, is going to take up uh, the color from blue so how this work is our browser is going to start reading from the top here so the first color uh, that is being assigned to the body is black uh, starting from 1401 so it is black and when it gets to the media query and sees for a max width of 1400 so if you are viewing it from a screen of 1400 then it's going to change to blue and if we don't specify anything in 1200 since we said that any devices below 1400 including 1200 down to 0px device are going to have this blue color but if we've bridged or we've intercepted uh, the media query with another rule which says like any screen uh, below 1200 should have a yellow color and ignore any other tyros that has been given above then we are going to be having yellow on 1200 px screen and if we increase this to 1201 you can see that we are having a blue color which is coming from this tyro so basically we are using this concept to specify what we want to do or what we want to display for each of these screens so we are targeting a range of screen like from 1400 down to 1201 are going to be having blue and screens from 1200 downward are going to be having yellow so that's basically it so the next screen that we are going to be targeting is the medium screen so you know after extra large we have large and after large we have medium devices so medium devices are devices such as tablets 
and are less than 992 px so these 992 px are going to be targeting medium devices like tablets and then to specify this uh, you should know already we make use of media and we specify max width like this and we do 992 px and inside of here now we cannot do our body and specify uh, the color that we want so we can do a background color uh, let's go for pink this time and if we add to our, our responsive widget and type 992 you can see now that we have pink background color and if i increase this to 993 you can see that we have yellow so we are targeting different screens and this is for medium so basically what we've explained earlier applies to what we have here so the next screen is going to be a small device screen so uh, you can do small devices we have landscape ones that are less than 768px so this is basically landscape phones like when a user rotates their phone into landscape uh, how do we want it to show up on their devices so that's basically what 768 is for so what we can do is to basically specify the media and do a max width of 768px and for this we can say body should have a background color of let's go for green so if we visit 768 here now 768 you can see now that we have our green color so and if we increase this now you can see that we have 769 and we have the pink color so that's basically it so if i go up that's pink and if i come down that's green so these are all breakpoints so the breakpoint to pink is 992 so if i go up uh 769 you can see that that's another breakpoint to enter into the row of 992 and the next one which is also the last media query is the extra small devices so the extra small devices are devices such as the portrait phones that are less than 576px so to specify this now we can do media max width of 576px so we can come here and do a body with a background color of red and if we come here now and do a 576 and then we are going to be having red so which means like any uh, screen size below 576 are going to be having a red color so and if you scale up you can see now that they are changing so just drag this to move it around different screen sizes so we have yellow we have uh, pink here we have green we have red which is the smallest or the last screen size that we are supporting so that's basically like how it work so on a large screen you might want to display some content and on the uh, next screen you might want to add it or you want to change the direction so that's basically how we can leverage a query like this to create a responsive uh, website so once you target a particular screen you can specify or change the css rules from the previous screen you can change it from uh, the one you are currently targeting so that's basically it so uh let me make this a full screen so that we'll be able to check this properly so if i come here now and go to the larger screen we have the black and remember we are supporting uh up to 1400 which is blue so anything above 1400 is going to be the default styles that we have given so that's basically it. if i uh, scale down now we are going to be seeing different colors for different screen sizes if you view this on mobile or any other devices you are going to realize that uh, it also happens on devices so this is just a simulation of devices and um, then you can see that we have different different colors so another example i would like to quickly show you is when you are working with flexbox and how media query can be useful with the responsiveness so let's go to our HTML file and over here we want to specify a section tag and in this section tag we want to have divs so let's say we have up to four divs one two three and four we want to um, style them so we can come here and on our base screen by default we can come here and do section uh, to have a background color of let's say white so and then you, we can see the children here 
So uh, for the section, we want to do display flex. So each of them are in the road direction and I want to give them a gap of let's say 32 px so there's a gap so we can come here and do diff and we can give this a background color of green and we can now say a width of 200 px and height of 200 px like this so let's do justify content space between so we want each of them to have equal space uh, between them so you can see now that uh, on this screen it looks good and if we scale down you can see that uh, each of them are being um, squeezed. You can see that they are being squeezed like this. And that's not what we want. And the reason is like, what if we have, let's say we have Lorem, we have content. So Lorem is basically like a placeholder in VS Code. So if you just uh, type uh, Lorem like this, it's going to give you some dummy text. So basically it is also available on your own VS Code. So just type Lorem like this. And then you'll be able to uh, have it on your screen like this so now with this large contents now if you are scaling down you can see that the screens here are basically uh, squishing together so and i think for a breakpoint we are making use of green so that might not go away so what we can do is let's look for a unique color can we make use of brown okay so let's make use of brown and um let's also increase this height because uh to accommodate these guys so uh we can see 400 or let's say 300 like this and then uh, if we scale up you can see how they are and if you scale down you can see like they are not really looking good uh from this screen size uh, we don't want it to be this way so what we want is on a big screen we like it uh yeah so if you do 1400 here you can see the way uh they appear and if you do 1200 you can see they also appear good and if you do 992 um they also look good so what we want to do is since they look good from 1400 uh we want to specify the same uh 200px height since they look good uh from above uh, 1401 which is black by default 200 height looks good so and if we check 1400 it also looks good and if we check 1200 like this it also looks good so let's check 992 it also looks good so it's not necessary that you have to always specify something in media query you only specify different styles on a page that doesn't look good so that this has to check it so it looks good on 992 so we will just leave it and if you check 768 uh you can see that it doesn't really look good which is like very very obvious so one thing we can do here is to specify a different height uh for that particular screen size and we can come here and do a div of an height 250 px and you can see that it's much better now so we can then proceed to 576 so you can see that it's not actually looking good like this so for this screen we don't want it to be four on a row so what we can do is to specify the section here and change the flex direction to colon so for this screen they are going to be on a colon like this and if i scale down you can see that is looking good and if i scale up you can see now that uh, they are scaling up as well like this so you can also target you know these screens that uh, is overlapping so that's basically how to solve this one just target the screen and then you'll be able to also fix this so this is 591 and just check where it lands and this is green so we can change this to let's say 290 or 300 like this so let's do three then so you can see what we have and then if i come here now you can see now that they look much better so this is a quick example of how you can make use of media query 
to actually create a responsive website by changing the layout so on big screen we have this layout and on small screen we want them to be on a colon direction but on larger screen we want them to be on a road direction so that's basically it for this video and there's an assignment attached to this video so ensure to check it out on the code with uncle big bay platform and i'm going to be making another video talking about the mobile first approach to designing or making a responsive website so see you in the next video bye bye